nah I know the plan is aligned, this shit be cosmic But what's a retrograde to a renegade in the projects? My mindset is to avoid most nonsense And don't comment on issues that I don't vibe with What's up with it? This your boy Nini and it's Leo in the third house Back with another reading This is going to be another random read for another random sign You won't know for who to the very end when I draw from the moonology we only got two signs left anyway, so funny thing happened. I recorded one of these readings, and it turned out there was no volume. I was so sad. We're going to see what happens, though. Anyway, so far, we're starting off with a big transformation for you guys, all right? Uh, yeah, it's a big transformation. We got a lot of Scorpio and Plutonic energy. We got the eighth house, and we have Pluto. So there's a renewal of maybe investments. There could be a renewal of maybe um, changes, like big changes in your life, so... Most likely, these are like new, uh, new core values, new beliefs, new emotional responses that you guys are going to be having. But these may be intense, and I don't even feel like bad. I mean, some of it could be a little turbulent, where it's like maybe un, what's the word I'm thinking for? Where it's like not unbelievable, but it's just kind of like it shakes you up. You know what I mean? So it can kind of leave you a little woozy or a little like discombobulated in some way. Sometimes it's, it's just more about empowering you. Through letting, like, shedding off uh, impurities or parts of yourself that maybe you didn't feel the most powerful, the most strongest, or the most proud of. So something about that is changing shortly. All right. Also, um, this could also be like the ending of a relationship, or this could be the next level of relationship. Maybe moving to the next phase, becoming more intense, maybe becoming more, uh, more possessive. You know what I mean? I definitely get intensity. So also maybe your I was say maybe your ego is, is also like starting to expand or starting to grow because sometimes Pluto can make you feel more of like a force to be reckoned with at times. You know what I mean? Like I was afraid to I was afraid to sleep in the dark without my nightlight, but maybe two nights without your nightlight, you start recognizing like, oh, I can do anything. I'm brave. So maybe you guys are starting to have confidence or bravery, which is not normally where this comes from, but it comes from highs and lows and intensity. So dealing with things that maybe are, oh, unsettling. That's what I was thinking about. So things that may be unsettling are things that are actually empowering you, making you feel stronger, making you feel a lot more confident, helping you like create new philosophies, all right? And also helping you guys let go of or break free of things that are no longer good for you or no longer how you see yourself or feel about things in the world. So let's say that at one time I felt like cats were better than dogs. And then one day a dog saved my life and I'm like, oh shit, dogs are better than cats. Not saying that's the case. I'm just giving you an example. Like something like that happens where it's like you maybe have like judged something, pre like preconceived something to be a certain way. And after this, things have changed and things will change and you'll see it differently. All right, we got forgiveness coming. So this could be with a relationship. Could be dealing with a cancer. So we got a lot of Scorpio and cancer energy. So this is going to be emotional. Whoever you're dealing with is emotional. It's somebody who has a strong pull on you. Commitment. <coughs> All right commitment so somebody's gonna be trying to wipe something under the rug between y'all and they're gonna be trying to fight for the connection could be done with a sag could be done with a scorpio could be done with a cancer this is somebody who wants commitment with you guys they see you guys in a more emotionally fulfilling way they can imagine that this situation would become something that is worth the time the energy or the investment they also feel like it would be something that's worth fighting for so that's always good all right this may be a relationship that's evolving that's why i say it's going to the next level or this may be a relationship that helps you evolve, all right? But it's supposed to be a commitment one. Oh, we got it. Yeah, somebody wants to make amends with you guys. It could be a Virgo, Gemini, Libra. So someone wants to connect with you guys. Yeah, we got a king cup there. That's with the deck and, and uh, the justice. So that's always making amends, but with loving intentions. Got four cups. So there's somebody who feels like they missed out on you, all right? Sometimes they call us the one who got away. So it's maybe for some of y'all, somebody who got away or somebody who feels you've gotten away. They're looking to try to seize the opportunity again to move the connection before forward with you guys. All right, we do got the chariot here. So someone is coming in. They're going to be moving in pretty quick, too. It's kind of early in the morning, y'all. So, like, if you hear me, like, all that stuff, it's still draining. That's why I don't be like, I try not to, but I just had to do it right now. So it is what it is. Anyway, making big moves. So soon, all right, so check this out. This may be a relationship. This could be also a business ship. I mean, a business partnership because it's going to be one where you're making big moves so you may be like always on the go traveling maybe your public reputation or image increases um you guys stop being bored so like if you guys were always home or always like trying to figure out what to do next or maybe binge watching shows or just kind of staying in your comfort zone this chance this commitment that's coming away is about to break you out of that 
All right, they're probably going to have you all over the place. So maybe you guys are going on like a, a road trip or you guys are going like vacations, like just maybe adventure, maybe adventures. It may, it, you may feel like that. It may not even feel like an adventure. You may be like, mm, uh, I guess, you know what I mean? So like it kind of gives that same, maybe you guys are dealing with a Capricorn because I think I said something like that in one of those signs. Like it's like, mm, uh, I guess. So maybe, I don't know. But so far we only got Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio. We got death again. So it's a lot of transformative energy. So so first what happens is uh, maybe there's an ending or there's an ending of the way that you do things or the way that you perceive yourself or the way that you like exercise who you are in the world. And then there's a big renewal. So there's a change in your public image, a change in your public appearance, there's a change in your motivation, the things that you desire. Like so like that's what Pluto can represent, like things that I desire, core values. What is true to me now? At one time that was true. This is no longer true. So. Someone here now is wanting to forgiveness and wanting to commit to you guys or at least do some type of partnership, possibly make amends. All right. They're looking, looking to see results from the actions that they take. All right. So it could be an Aries. Now, some of y'all may be traveling here. We got two of cups here. Again, this is somebody who's definitely it's a relationship is coming your way. But I, I'm trying to find it in more like a business way. I'm trying to say it like more like like something else is going on here. You know what I mean? Like maybe there's maybe there's just like, I don't know. I just know this unusual. <laughs> This is unusual because first it's going to, maybe they're going to try to come about it in like a more professional way. The whole situation where it's like, okay, I would like us to uh, maybe start a business or maybe I like to patronize you or I would like to, you know, try to, they're going to try to come off as more like a friend and a friend base. This must be for cancer. It's got to be for the cancer. It's only cancer and Sag left. So it's got to be for cancer because of the way this is coming off. Like somebody wants to be your friend. So they're going to try to be off like maybe more like a friend. So like maybe sneak behind your lines because Scorpio energy is somebody who has hidden motives. We have a lot of death, Pluto, eighth house, and the, uh, uh, like I said, the death. So it's a lot of like secret, secret. Uh, I was going to say animosity, but like now nah, it's not really a secret tension. But it could be secret animosity too because you could be having somebody who's competing with you guys, but somebody who also feels like they missed an opportunity to work a partnership with you guys or like be around you guys or be in your comfort space. All right, so it's maybe like an employee, a boss, um, a, I don't know. It's the same thing as a manager if I say a boss. So it's the same thing. Or somebody who you figure to be um, maybe important or valuable at this time. All right, you may be getting them to like have some type of open heart conversation with you guys. Or they may be trying to give you guys a chance to make a, uh, make a choice, make a decision. All right, I know you guys are making a lot more moves because of the relationships or because of the connections that you guys are making. All right, or maybe sometimes it's like maybe some like some type of like realization that you guys are having as well. Because sometimes Pluto for me can be like the tower in astrology, not in tarot, but in astrology. Because Pluto breaks down, it destroys, it changes, and it's never the same when it comes around. So the tower is like that too. It's like you know it breaks down whatever was once established. Maybe I view this as being true, and all of a sudden I've had this epiphany or some type of wild awakening because of this. So for some of y'all, it's going to be a relationship that's going to give y'all. Some type of wild awakening. They maybe want to do a joint endeavor. They may start sharing resources with you, but it's going to put you guys in a pivotal place or space in the world. All right. So maybe it's a, it's a, it's got to be like a job or it's got to be like something having to do with career, but there is a feeling of romance to it. So even if it's not like sexual, this person cares for your needs. This person wants to share. They figure it's going to be reciprocal because they feel like they missed out doing this for you in the past. So now they feel like, okay, I'm going to treat you the way you should have been treated the first time. You know what I mean? And this time, and that may be where the animosity came from, because for some of y'all, there's a power struggle. Pluto represents where maybe they had the power in the connection at first, but now on this go round, you have the power. So that's why this person would be looking for forgiveness, because now you have this, the reins. You can pull strings in the connection. So they don't really want to have to like deal with karma. <laughs> that's what that justice was. It's like, oh, I want to make amends now. So it's kind of like jumping out ahead before it gets too late where they can't rectify a situation. So someone is most likely going to try to rectify a situation with you guys. And it's because they don't want to catch karma or they don't want to have to like deal with whatever repercussions came because of how you guys like something's changed about you guys. Because Pluto means that something has evolved. You guys have gone to the next level. And we got the cherry here, which means big success where everybody can see you. So that's why this person is trying to jump out ahead because it's like, oh shit, everybody sees you. I got to make good before you leave me behind, before you end this true connection and I lose my authority and you no longer see me as a serious mate or as a serious partner or you no longer value my status. So let's say that you tried to work at a job, get a job, let's say you want to work at, I don't know, Wall Street and they was like, nah, we don't need your, we don't need your expertise. And then you go at another company and you start going up 
And now uh, Wall Street's like, hold on, wait, wait. The company that you tried to you know, apply for is calling you back. Like, wait, wait, wait. I see that you went over there to that other company. They may not say that they've seen that, but they can. They know that something's about to happen here, something big. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me jump on now and seize the opportunity before it's too late. You know what I mean? Like maybe they were at a dinner and they heard another company say, all right, we're about to take on this sign and see what happens with them. I'm assuming, I really think this is a cancer, but we're going to see. It's only two signs, so it don't matter. Here's your advice. Affirmation. Be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life as we acknowledge the divine order of life. The universe responds with ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator. All you say and think resonates through the heart of creation, and creation responds accordingly. All right, so let's see who this reading is for. Mm -hmm. Who's this reading for? How's that for? Damn it. Sagittarius. All right. Well, Saggy, that was your reading. Signs that may, you may be included with could be Scorpio, Aries, Cancer, 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 Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer. All right. Anyway. Oh, and Sagittarius. Okay. Well, anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house.